Okay, so I'm gonna to talk to you about rest periods and muscle growth. How long should you rest between sets if your goal is to maximize muscle mass? So I'm gonna kick things off. At the end of 2015, there was a research study that compared three minute to one minute rest periods. Now, the three minute group, as you would expect, had greater gains in strength. Of course, if you rest longer between sets, you can lift more weight on subsequent sets rather than fatiguing quickly. And uh, lifting more weight is always going to be a driver of increased strength gains. However, the three minute group also had greater increases in muscle mass. Now, the theory is if you're resting longer, you're lifting more weight and therefore you have a greater volume load, i.e. reps times sets times weight, then you will gain more muscle mass. However, this has caused some people to say that longer rest periods are better than shorter rest periods. And whilst I would love it to be so black and white that we can just say rest three minutes between sets, that's the best number, that simply isn't the case. Because three minutes outperformed one in this study, but the research is actually a lot more equivocal than that. And it isn't a case of picking one rest period. You could rest for longer periods between some sets, shorter periods between other exercises, etc. So it isn't a case of you have to pick one rest period. So what I'm going to do is explain why it's a little bit more complicated than that and how to strike a balance that best suits you and your goals. So I have written this up on a whiteboard because I take shit seriously. So here we go. Now what we have, research study number one, the one that I was referring to, one minute versus three minute rest periods, three minutes had greater muscle growth and strength. However, I've also listed research studies that have varying outcomes. So what we have here is two minutes versus five. In this study, two minutes and five minutes, there was no significant difference in terms of muscle growth. This one actually showed that one minute rest had greater muscle growth than four minutes rest. So this study was in participants that were 60 years old. For the moment, I'll perhaps put it to one side. Now in this one, if you're resting longer between sets and you can lift more weight, that is going to be the main driver of muscle growth. So whilst there is more metabolic stress, perhaps if shorter rest periods, that did not trump simply lifting more weight. Now, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. So three minutes outperformed one, but five minutes didn't outperform two which has caused some people to hypothesize that one minute is so short that your workout quality will deteriorate too quickly. However, resting five minutes doesn't beat two minutes. So perhaps two minutes is almost like a minimum threshold. You rest two minutes, you get a better quality of work done. But if you rest even longer than that and go to five minutes, it doesn't necessarily increase the quality of your work that much to warrant the extra long rest periods. So some people have said that two minutes is almost like that kind of minimum threshold that you'd want to aim for, and longer than that you might just be wasting time. So, to make things extra complicated, let's say that you have 10 sets to perform. Let's say that's our program, you have 10 sets. You rest three minutes on one day, and then you do the program again and you only rest one minute the next day. Of course, in that instance, the three minute rest periods are going to let you perform a better quality of work. So to break down the example, let's say that you're squatting 100 kilos, your first set you get 10, you rest three minutes, second set you get 10, you rest three minutes, then the third set you get nine. You have 29 total reps with a total volume load, volume load being reps times sets times weight, total reps times weight, of 2,900 kilos. Then let's say on another day you do the same workout but you only rest one minute. You still squat 100 kilos, you still hit 10 when you're fresh, but the partial recovery starts kicking you in the ass, and you get nine on your second set and then you're fucking exhausted by the third set and you only grind out seven. So you only get 26 reps versus 29, which brings your volume load down by, let's say approximately 11% in this instance. So you only do 2,600 kilos worth of volume load versus 2,900 kilos. So this explains why resting longer 
could produce greater increases in muscle mass as well as strength. However, those of you who are shrewd may have already thought of something. This condition, if you're only resting one minute between sets, your workout time would be shorter. So this research study in the notes actually says that those who rested three minutes, their total workout time was more than double those who rested one minute. Which means that if you've got five sets of squats to perform, resting three minutes, you will probably get greater muscle growth than if you only rested one minute because you can lift more weight and more total reps. However, if we get rid of how many sets you have to perform and replace that with how most people schedule their workouts and that's how much time they've got, let's say you've got 30 minutes to train or 45 minutes to train or whatever it is, the shorter rest period will allow you to do more sets. So whilst you have lower volume load under three set conditions, what if you added a fourth set or added a fifth set? Your volume load could then overtake and leapfrog, which basically means it's a case of striking a balance between volume load and time allotted to training. So it isn't just a case of rest longer for more muscle growth. It's rest longer for better quality work, but striking a balance between making sure you get enough done during your workout time. So I'm going to do the best I can to give you some practical recommendations. If you literally expect me to say, rest this amount of time, this is the best for muscle growth, I cannot do it. And by this point in the video, you should understand why I cannot do it. So here's my best attempt at practical recommendations. Rest periods need to strike a balance between performing high quality of work and performing enough work because if you rest longer you'll perform more reps but also if you rest longer you perform less sets which might mean that you actually compromise volume load because you only did three sets in 15 minutes versus five sets in 15 minutes for example. This is also perhaps exercise specific so compare a squat to a bicep curl the deterioration in your rep numbers will vary significantly. Perhaps you're out of breath, your rep numbers go down because your quads are more fatigued than your biceps, it's a more technical lift, so you might find your technique deteriorates quicker, etc. So it's perhaps muscle group specific or even exercise specific. And it is going to be individual specific. So for example, if someone has a relatively poor level of fitness, they might find that conditioning wise, they cannot repeat sets of squats with only three minutes rest compared to their friend who can take three minutes rest and still bang out 10 reps each time. So you have to find a balance between resting enough to perform the best quality work but also not resting so long that you're wasting time and losing out on fitting enough total work into your workouts. It is gonna be perhaps exercise specific, perhaps specific to muscle group, and very likely specific to the individual. So take these factors into account, play around, understand that you don't have to pick three minutes or one minute or five minutes or two minutes. You can change over the course of your workout depending on the exercise and the goal, how long you've got to train, etc. So hopefully I've armed you with enough tools that you can experiment on yourself, use some trial and error, and hopefully come up with something that works well for you. So I hope this has been interesting. Uh, please feel free to subscribe. My Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training. My Twitter and Instagram pages are both BDC Carpenter. And thank you for watching. Bye.